Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipop Tarot. We're bringing the Leo weekly love read. Um, this is for Leos. Happy birthday, Leos. Um, this read is August 16th through the 22nd. Um, I'm doing things a little bit differently this time. We're going to do a couple cards for if you're in a relationship, a couple cards if you're single, and then I have some silhouettes cards, island wellness, island time wellness cards. Um, they're love oracles and uh, um, an angel guide oracle card. So, sorry. I, I was a bit distracted by the cards that popped out. Uh, nice for Leos in a relationship. Let's get a couple cards for Leos who are single. And with that, um, it, however you feel you are is not my business. You decide if you're in a relationship or single. <laughs> Um, like I told in the other readings, I know people who are married that consider themselves single. I know people who are in, uh, um, just dating people feel like they are, um, in a committed relationship and they're not technically in one. So whatever you resonate with is on you, Leo. All right, Leo, for, for the overall energy, we get the two of pentacles. So, um, this usually represents juggling of two things, having a decision to make, um, getting, trying to get a balance into something. So perhaps you're trying to balance work and love. You're trying to balance, uh, you're juggling two different people. You're trying to make a decision. Um, could be a ton of things, but the overall energy is kind of trying to juggle stuff or to, to get things to eventually balance out. So, um, all right, Leos. Well, my married Leos or committed Leos or Leos in a relationship Yours looks pretty amazing. Um, you have the world card, which is uh, like a completion of something, a positive outcome, um, a balanced situation. All, you know, all four elements are present in the world card. Um, something, a positive outcome has recently occurred, a completion of something. You have the sun card, which is the Leo card, which is overall abundance, positivity, um, optimism, joy, happiness. I mean, just pick a peek at this card. It's like total happiness, right? Um, just total positive energy. And you have the four of wands card, which is um, the twin flames card, stability. It's the 11, 11 card. Um, definite stability, soulmate, energy. I feel like I don't need to clarify anything on this uh, Leo's in a relationship side. I feel like you guys are golden. <laughs> You're the sun. You're the sun, Leo. Um, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, Leos that are single, we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. So to me, to me, it looks like you have potential two people here. It could be an earth sign and an air sign. Signs are really irrelevant. Um, but you're walking away from one. You're walking away from a situation and leaving something behind. Um, you do have this offer, this slow moving offer. It's grounded. It's stable. Um, good news. Uh, but you have, it looks like two people to choose from, two kings. I mean, it's good that they're kings. Or you could potentially have three people, a page and two kings. Um, but the king of swords could be the air sign. Someone that's left like sound body sound mind I mean I can't talk sometimes um I think my brain just works faster than my mouth sometimes um so someone that's really clear intelligent um logical they're going to tell you what they think they're going to use their head and not their heart as much they're going to really kind of just think with their head and then the king of pentacles is very grounded I'm sorry the king of swords can sometimes be a little detached and cold and sharp the King of Pentacles is very grounded, stable, loving, um, their provider. They're going to care for you. They're going to attend to you, um, a really good person to have in your life. So I'm just going to get a couple cards to clarify these two Kings to see if it'll give us any information, but, um, you are walking away from something. Could be this dating game you're in or this dating situation you're in or the entertaining the two people, or maybe you're walking away from both. Okay. <laughs> the two of pentacles came out again. Okay. So, yeah. I just love tarot sometimes. Okay. So, when I was trying to clarify between these two people, right, it came up with the temperance card, which is having to be patient. 
Um, the Justice card, which again is balancing things out, uh, could represent divorce. So maybe you're waiting on a King of Swords or King of Pentacles who is going through a divorce. But I think it's more of balancing things out because then we also got the Two of Pentacles. Again, juggling, which is again the same card here. Um, so I think you're juggling two people, but you're going to walk away from something. I'm going to try to clarify the Eight of Cups. What are you walking away from, Leo? But it seems as if those two people are decent. You're not going to tell me anything, are you? <laughs> it's because I'm a Leo and I'm like, hmm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, I think... I asked what you're walking away from, but this doesn't make sense of what you're walking away from. I think this might be what you're walking towards. We got the High Priestess, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Empress. So the High Priestess is using your intuition, really going with what you feel in your heart, what you kind of just know without knowing. The Ten of Pentacles is stability, happiness, fulfillment, family, home. It's like everything you want, wedding, children, animals, like just combining in a household. Um, and then the Empress, which is the divine feminine energy. So it would be your divine counterpart. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. So this could be somebody from your past that you're kind of talking with, thinking about. So I think, Leo, you are walking away from or walking towards your, your soulmate, your divine feminine your divine masculine, your divine counterpart, what, whoever that might be. That's exciting, Leo. Okay, we're going to get a couple cards from the Silhouettes deck. This is from Celestial Forecasts by Carrie. Um, these um, cards are like general or sometimes love messages. So we'll see what pops out for Leo. Listen, talking is not enough if we see right through each other without actually hearing what we're saying. Yeah, so maybe that has to do with the single Leos with that King of Swords. So maybe um, we need to listen to kind of what's being spoken. Um, complicated. You and I, we are a complex duo. This love story hasn't been easy. Ups, downs, challenges, obstacles to overcome. But you and I together, we can get through it all. That could be for the married Leos. Um, I mean, every relationship has this complications or that could be why you're walking away from a situation or walking towards a situation and drama don't start it don't allow it don't add to it so um those don't really necessarily resonate like the other ones have been but that's okay because i think um there's a lot of good stuff to look forward to or perhaps leo the drama kind of relates to one of the kings in your in your situation like you're walking away from the drama situation all right, let's get a love time, I'm sorry, an island time wellness love oracle card or two for Leos. A lion, oh my lord, an island time wellness love oracle card for Leos. The butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, heal the inner child and growth. Yeah, nice. And then on the bottom of the deck, it says healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction, which I didn't pick up any of that energy. However, uh, it's a nice message, right? The butterfly, that's nice. All right, Leo, so yours is short. Um, the other ones have been going past 11 minutes, but I mean, you had such a good, um, the people that are in relationships had such a good read. I didn't have to clarify anything. Okay, so we're going to get an Angel Guide Oracle card to finish off the reading. Friendship and Union. Yes. Where was... Oh. Your Six of Cups person. Your person from the past. I think that's going to be your person. That's going to be your Ten of Pentacles. Your Empress. Your Divine Counterpart. Friendship and Union. And I think the Leos in a relationship already have that. So, all right, guys, um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, let me know what you feel about this reading. It is different than the other ones. I usually do you, them, and the connection. So let me know if you have a preference. Um, any feedback would be great. I really enjoyed uh, changing it up a little bit today, but I want to make you guys happy and give you what you want. So uh, let me know what you think, guys. Thanks so much. Take care.